Top Saw here. Today's video is on the 1972 Land Cruiser FJ55. I think this is my fourth update in the series. I'm just driving to school right now in the rain. Cars doing great in the rain. Wipers, blower, heater, all working well. to work there it is parked out front I have to admit it just enjoyable to get to work and see these logs here ready to get milled the mill awaiting us Sun coming up in the distance just a nice time of day nice way to start the day right there all right just got my rebuilt booster from Spectre off-road here it is in the box, kind of cool. I actually ordered one off of eBay. The guy was in Indonesia. It was a rebuild kit. I was super excited to rebuild it myself. I looked everywhere to find one. I found this one on eBay, sent him the money, and then two weeks later he said oh, he doesn't have it. So I don't know what that was about. So I ended up buying a rebuilt booster um, from Spectre. Looks pretty nice. I have that vacuum leak in there. I don't think there's any way to fix it. So we'll see how this, this goes. And you can hear it when you drive it. You can hear the vacuum leak, which also leads to a bad idle as well. So there's the old one. Swap that out. Hopefully no additional problems when we swap that out. And our brakes will be good to go. There's a new brake booster all installed. Um, not that big difference in the brakes, but a really big difference in the idle without that vacuum leak. So that's actually really nice. Um, got that from Spectre. It's a $200 core return, so I'm gonna box that up and send it back to Spectre off-road. All right, my 72 FJ55. Kinda want a little more usable for a family car. So I was thinking of going to power steering with it. Um, steering's a little bit loose in the steering box. Kind of been looking all over, looking at the Saginaw steering components. But here I am at 4x4 Labs. Pretty cool place up in Grass Valley. They make beautiful Land Cruiser bumpers and parts. So I came out here, and it is a beautiful boneyard. FJ40s. Some Land Cruiser wagons. Back in there, the FJ80s. Off from the 80s but here are the beauties here here are three 1972 FJ 55s I was hoping to get some ideas for steering power steering here so we start on this one right here it's a nice looking a little rusted out nice bumper this one right here this has a V8 in it. Oh, you see the valve covers are Chevy, so it's a Chevy V8, small block. And that actually has a power steering pump on it. That must be the stock power steering pump on that V8. And then you can see that steering knuckle is up there. And then, I don't know if you can see any of that. So here's the one with the Chevy. You see the shock mount's been lifted way up, and then there's a steering box with the body lifted. I don't know how that could work. The next 72 is this one here. It's a beautiful truck. Looks like there's some hope on this one. 72 FJ55. Uh, this a brand new set of headers on there. Oh, and this doesn't even have any steering. There's a knuckle there, there, and then the steering's cut there. They're probably waiting to get this sorted out to find the spot for it. Hmm. The last 72 FJ55. Nice tires and wheels on it. Um, this is it here. 
I do kind of like the convertible look on it. That was kind of cool. And then this engine, so this is the third 72 FJ55 they have here. I don't know what's going on here. Let me climb up here. Uh, this is cool. Uh, it's a fuel injected engine. I don't know whose engine this is. Oh, it's a Mercedes. This is a Mercedes fuel injected engine with a power steering pump. There's a first knuckle, second knuckle. I think that's all right to the power steering pump there. And there it is kind of mounted forward, but it has those shock mounts. There. I don't know. 372 FJ55s in a row right there. That is cool. I wish one of them would have given me some hints in power steering for my FJ55. Here's a custom built back bumper, which I really like a lot. Beautiful, super heavy. Um, but I'm gonna put a hitch on the back here just to make the truck a little more versatile. I don't really see pulling a heavy load with it, but it would be nice um, if I could, in case of emergency or anything, to have a hitch. So I have a student at the high school who works for a steel fabricator, and he's gonna weld the receiver on there for me. Let's see how it goes. All right, taking the bumper off, and then welding on a receiver down here beautiful okay got that fire backpack sprayer hooked up on the back there and locked in I like the way that looks and I got this hitch on here a student did a beautiful job welding this on for me um, beautiful welds really looks part of the 1972 bumper even though this isn't a stock bumper it, it it really matches the 72 era off of this track you get a little closer in here so you can see what a beautiful job he did on these welds uh, he graduated a student and works as a welder then he welded that on i don't think there's anywhere that thing could go I would just use it for a very light trailer, maybe for a little bit of tree work, and we have a really uh, light camper trailer too. That would be cool. So I just love the look of that. It did a beautiful job on it. And I think it's kind of up to date on the Land Cruiser. 100% of it runs the way it did in 1972. So I think everything on it's working, um, and it's going good. Hopefully you're enjoying these updates. If you do, hit like and subscribe. This is Topsaw, all things wood from tree work to woodwork. But I just thought some folks might be interested um, in the Land Cruiser as well. So thank you for watching.